Welcome back everybody to another video. Before we get into today's video, I just want to take a quick minute and say thank you so much to Tidewe. They have hooked me up with their silent frame backpack. Now, you guys can tell, this thing's huge. Me filming my hunts and everything, I have a lot of camera gear in here. My camera arm's in here. I needed a solution to hauling my camera gear in and out of the woods, and this is it. This thing has a ton of room in it, and it's a frame pack, a silent frame pack. So there is a frame in here. And when I wear this thing, it is like, it is hugging you and it just fits so comfortably. And it's also got a waist clip. And away I go. They got little pockets in here on the straps. I keep some camera batteries in there for quick, easy access. But this thing is a beast. I have so much more room now. I just want to say thank you guys so much, Tidewe, for hooking me up. I've partnered with them for this year to display some of their products, and so far, these products are killer. Can't wait to see what else they have so I can test out and share with you guys. So please, I have some links down in the description. By all means, support the companies that are willing to support me, because I'm a moron. So. I don't know what they see in me, but they've seen something that they like. So thank you guys so much. Now let's get into the deer video. everybody it is October 16th it's about seven o'clock been in the stand for about 40 minutes and uh, I already seen a buck naturally it was just that first light I used the binos to see it and uh, goofy rack real weird looking rack on him big body it might just be bad jeans I don't know we're out here today with the, uh, the muzzle loader. I'm gonna try to put a doe down, but I am a little concerned we're gonna end up seeing all buck today and not seeing any doe, because I can only shoot a doe with the muzzle loader. We have a massive, massive cold front moving through today. Um, looks to be like around two o'clock. Gonna get some heavy winds and a thunderstorm, and then you're gonna have a 10 degree drop. I'm gonna sit back here and enjoy what nature has to offer this morning.
totally, totally butchered that. <coughs> she caught me off guard a million percent, right? She was standing at 40 yards when I seen her. And then I had to make sure that it wasn't a butt bug. So I was trying to do that while reach for the gun. And then I had her here. She was 20 yards away. And I couldn't see her vitals. Maybe you guys could from the angle. It's a little different. But I couldn't see her vitals. Obviously that's important. And she stood there for five minutes. Just nosing up in the air. She could smell me. Thankfully, she didn't blow. She definitely knew something was up. Well, I just spotted another deer. <coughs> it's over in the power line here. I don't know what it is. It's, a, it's probably over 100 yards away right now. So I would, I really need these deer to stay close for me to shoot. Not because I'm a bad shot, but there is a house that way. So I'm always trying to stay mindful of that kind of thing. Hopefully, <clears throat> this front comes through. I'm hoping it comes around lunchtime. So hopefully it comes around lunchtime so that uh, we can get out tonight. I really, really want to get out tonight. We'll see what happens. Uh, 